Today, we're gonna hike the Lost Palms Oasis Trail in Joshua Tree National Park, where we'll encounter Ocotillo and the largest grove of California fan palms in the park. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. Located in the southeastern part of the park, the trail to the Palm Tree Oasis can be reached from the trailhead at Cottonwood Spring, near the campground of the same name. You can also access other hiking trails from here, like to Mastodon Peak. This hike will be 7.4 miles out and back and about 500 feet in elevation gain. I'll be hiking this with my good friend Jan from the channel Adventure Muse. First thing you'll see is the lush vegetation of the Cottonwood Spring. Yeah, I guess you don't have palm trees in New York. No, if we do, they're fake. Not much shade on this hike, so bring plenty of water. Otherwise, don't expect to see any Joshua trees on this hike. That's because the park is in both the Mojave and the Colorado deserts, and Joshua trees don't do well in the lower, hotter elevation of the Colorado that we're in right now. So you'll see a lot of stuff like Ocotillo. In fact, the best time to hike in this portion is from October to April, given the ridiculous heat during the warmer months. Despite the lack of ungodly weather, because this isn't in the main part of the park, I don't recall that we really saw but one or two other hikers. Nature is my happy place. <laughs> Love this Ocotillo. The 500 feet of elevation gain is not a joke, by the way. Despite the length of the hike, this is a relatively easy incline spread out over many miles. It's really the distance that could be harder for people. There's no insanely steep sections along this route, and you can see pretty much far ahead much of the time. I'm always leery of washes, but the possibility of rain today was pretty much zero, and this mini slot canyon was pretty cool. Quick note too, this trail is pretty easy to follow but it's also very well marked at junctures where you may not be sure. Of course, it's always good to carry a map with you and on your phone too. Ain't no rest stops here to call a tow truck. Here's a nice look at the mountain range to your west with Mount San Jacinto in the distance. Check out our video on that hike if you want. Have I said how much I've fallen in love with Ocotillo? I didn't think a long hike with no landmarks could be so pretty but this hike lived up to it. It may be one of the longest hikes in Joshua Tree, but it's not really strenuous enough to possibly take away from enjoying the beauty around you. After another wash and a few light switchbacks, and you'll come upon this sign. That's right, you're here, except not quite. From here, you can head to the right and look down below at the Lost Palm Oasis itself. But that's not why we're here, are we? We're gonna descend into the canyon. The only issue is that there's no trail. This is not maintained at all. It's on you and what you feel comfortable doing. As you can see, it's pretty uneven and rocky, but if you take it slow and have good footwear, it's not that bad. And before you know it, you'll be right upon these hidden California fan palms. The Los Palm Oasis is one of five oases in Joshua Tree National Park and one of 158 in North America. A permanent water source, likely an underground aquifer, allows the fan palms to survive. We didn't see any water though. These are absolutely beautiful. It never ceases to amaze me how strange and diverse a park Joshua Tree is. And with that, it's time to head back. Go ahead, Brian. I'll hold it for you. All right. All right. You. I'm coming. You. I'm coming. You got this. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. It's a good thing she did, because what would this lizard have done had I not been able to make this trek back and said hello? Have you ever hiked the Lost Palms Oasis? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you on the trails or in the water. <laughs>